this body armor took more rounds than it was supposed to. Body armor capable of handling only one round took multiple hits at close range and held together. They advertise that it can take one round and that it, it, it falls apart to the point where they say that it's not supposed to uh, stop any more projectiles. Um, and this whole gunfight was inside of 10 feet. Retired Navy uh, SEAL Senior Chief Mike Day says any one of these rounds should have killed him. Just another sign that, uh, I mean, I shouldn't have survived it. What you're looking at here is not supposed to have been able to happen. And that's just one part of the miracle. I've, I've, On the night of April 6th, 2007, in Iraq's Anbar province, Day's team of Navy SEALs and Iraqi scouts were on the hunt for a high-level Al-Qaeda cell. Day says the terrorists had shot down two helicopters, killing everyone on board. Being the first to enter a 12 by 12 room where four Al-Qaeda leaders waited to strike proved to be almost deadly for Day. Upon entering that doorway, uh, they all just opened up on me. It felt like somebody was just beating me up with sledgehammers. After I figured out I was getting shot, I said, God, get me home to my girls. That was my first prayer to God, real prayer. Uh, he answered it. A prayer to be reunited with his wife and daughters. When the gunfight was over, Mike Day took out all four terrorists in the room, but not before being shot 27 times and hit with grenade shrapnel. And people hear about my story and they can't believe it. I was there and I can't believe it. I got shot 27 times, 16 in the body and, and 11 times in my body armor. I was shot in both legs, both arms, my abdomen. I mean, you throw a finger on me, anything but my head, I got shot there. I kind of speculated the reason why I didn't die is because, you know, maybe I wouldn't have gone to heaven. Miraculously, he cleared the rest of the house before walking on his own to the helicopter, which flew him to safety. His bravery did not go unnoticed. Mike is a highly decorated veteran. You can see all the medals he's been awarded over the years, including the Silver Star, the Bronze Star, and the Purple Heart. He served in the Navy for more than 21 years, 20 of those as a Navy SEAL. While in the hospital, the Navy SEAL lost 55 pounds in two weeks. He says it took around two years to physically recover from his injuries, although he still deals with constant pain. Like so many veterans, doctors diagnosed Day with post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD and traumatic brain injury, the invisible wounds of war. You lose a leg, you lose a leg, it's a limb. You, you, you smash that brain around a little bit and who you are changes. Day is determined to not have a victim mentality and that has launched him on a journey of giving back. The retired Navy SEAL is now a full-time wounded warrior advocate for the Special Operations Command. My job is to improve their situation, whether it's make sure they get all their benefits, make sure they get the best medical care. Advocating also involves raising funds for treatment programs at the Carrick Brain Center in Texas. Mike's definitely not one to take the easy way out. For the fundraiser, he's taking part in a half Ironman triathlon. Get this, that's more than 70 miles of swimming, running, and biking. His goal is to raise 75,000 to send wounded brothers and sisters, both military and civilian, to the Carrick Brain Center. Why do you think God kept you alive? To do what I'm doing now. And so the life of service continues from a man who is a walking, more like swimming, biking, and running miracle. Mark Martin, CBN News, Virginia Beach.